Hi everyone and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one to do some wild camping in Bonnie, Scotland. How time is it now? Is that all? Right, welcome back everyone. So as in the little intro tonight, I'm hammock camping in uh, Bonnie, Scotland. Uh, so the nearest town that we're in is Forres and we're right by the River Findhorn which I have got a little bit of footage of so I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but yeah, we've come up to meet a couple of uh, subscribers, uh, Matt and Dave, who kindly volunteered to be our um, tour guide, so to speak. And they took us up to Findhorn Bay, or Findhorn Bay. Uh, I'm not sure on the pronunciation, so I do apologise. Uh, but yeah, the River Findhorn. I'm going to be in a hammock tonight, uh, as is Matt, Dave and Dan are in tent. Uh, but as you can see, it's absolutely silent down, so I'm going to get a tarp set up, and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. Uh, so I didn't get much footage of me setting up because it was an absolute fail. Um, I've just put a new ridge line on this and just couldn't get it to sit right at all. Um, I'll show you the high parts footage I did take. Um, but yeah, then I set helped set mats up because um, we forgot Dan's tent. We got all the way from home up to Forres and then uh, left Dan's tent in the back of the car. So Matt kindly took uh, Dan back for his tent and then. I've set Matt's tarp up for him, and then I wish I set my own uh, hammock set up. up. Uh, this is the bespoke hammock that I've done, but I've now had the, uh, the top quilt stitched in. I'll show you that in a bit more detail later on, but it's all, all done now, so it's literally just clip clip with this, and away I go. Um, but yeah, we are actually losing a bit of light as well. It's only just gone four o'clock, and the light's going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, run around camp, show you all the setups. And then uh, maybe time to start cooking.
Right, well, you've just seen me uh, unfilter some water into the knock vector. Now, on camera, you could see that it's quite a, a red colour. Um, and it's given its colour by the peat in the area um, and then used by all the local distilleries uh, one of them is called Ben Romack, I've just been informed by uh, Matt uh, but yeah the, the redness is what uh, gives it like a smoky flavour um, obviously because of the rain as well we're getting a lot of runoff from the banks as well um, but yeah there's a lot of peat in the water around here which obviously gives it the smoky taste so yeah that's uh, just explaining about that right I'm going to go filter that um, with my soya mini and then I'm going to start cooking just quickly showing you around the setups now uh, so again this is my bespoke hammock uh, and then the etrol uh, tarp and then we'll go over to Matt's so Matt's uh, a bit of a DD user sorry about the lighting but he's got a DD 3.5 by 3.5 tarp snake skins over his hammock uh, and then obviously DD on the quilt just created this sort of ridge line as well, if you can see that. Where he's hung all kinds of bits and bobs off there. And then this is where he's uh, going to be cooking his tea. He's got a chair very similar to the Edaway one. Uh, and then obviously you can see his pots and pans, his little setup, he's got the table. And we'll come back as he's cooking that in a very short while. Just come across to Dave's setup, you can see there he's just using... Is that like a jet boiler you've got there? It's an MSR wind burner. So yeah, MSR Windburner is just boiling some water, but he's in there, an OEX Coyote 3, a regular sedan's channel, uh, we're very familiar with that tent, and then the expedition tarp over the front, like a little bit of a porch on him. So yeah, that's uh, Dave's setup. I'll spring you around and show you Dan's. He's just got this. And then here's uh, Dan, English woodsman. There you go, a little thumbs up. Do you think he's just finished cooking uh, from what I can smell? What have you had, a bit of venison? Uh, not Scottish, steak. Scottish steak. <laughs> yeah, Scottish steak, and then he's in these OEX Lynx 2 tent. Uh, but obviously, if you're a regular man, you're a regular Dan, so you'll nip across to his and watch that video as well. Right, time to start cooking, I think. Hi, uh, so tonight I'm cooking a massive chicken tikka burger. So I've marinated like the biggest chicken breast I've seen in a hell of a long while. Put loads of like cuts into it so the marinade gets right in. And then this morning I put some natural yoghurt in to make it even creamier. So I'll cook that off first. Then I've got two olives and naan bread. So I'll go in between that, but then it'll have some like raw onions in. And then mango chutney. And I've got some of that mint yoghurt stuff as well. I didn't think it was like or something. But then, to go with the side of that, I've got four onion barges. We're going to fry them up as well so they're going to be nice and crispy to have like with the biggest chicken tikka burger I've then got ever made. And I'm going to polish it off with uh, a few beers with the boys a bit later. That's what I'm having for the tea. Right, well, I've uh, shown you what Matt's going to be cooking, so my turn now. So a few weeks back I did a hollowed out pod similar to this one. Uh, I'm going to do very, very similar tonight. Uh, red onion. And then I got far too many mushrooms, but I couldn't resist. It was 78 p Tight Yorkshire man. Always love a bargain. And then we're going to fill it out with uh, a bit of Scotch beef rump steak. Can you see that? And then a little bit of sliced haggis as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold out the bread. A couple of bits of the haggis in the bottom. Then the steak chopped up and then a couple of bits of haggis on the top and then turn it into a mega sandwich yet again. Um, learned from my mistakes the last time though, I'm not going to cut the end off, I'm just going to pick it up, bite it and just go caveman style with it. So yeah, I'm going to start cooking, give it a sec. Let's carry on. But uh, yeah, so it was really, it was just nice getting home to go and see them for a bit. Yeah. How often do you get down? Probably... I'd like to say once a year, but not. We normally try and tie it in with, say, if we go skiing or something. Yeah. We'll go in and out of Manchester because the flights tend to be that little bit cheaper. Yeah. So we'll tend to then dip down to Stoke for a day or two on the way back, just to, just to bump into friends that you haven't seen for quite a while, kind of thing. Yeah. And it just it kills loads of birds with one stone. You get 
to get to the airport and then you get to see the family. But obviously with COVID having over the last couple of years, that's really put kibosh to it. Yeah, it's not been fun, has it, over the last few years? You know, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Chicken's coming and take it out for a bit. Smells gay, is that? Not in the slightest. It says this looks awful. I'm gonna spin it on and show you it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Does that look awful? You can pull three to it. <laughs> That'll be running down my chin, pal, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just while I think on, I'm actually using a, a new tripod today that one of my subscribers, Martin, recommended to me. And I've got to say, it is quite a, a very, very good tripod, very easy to use. And they're quite stable, but extra, extra lightweight as well. Uh, I can't remember what the full name is, so I'll flash it up on screen for you. Um, I've still got the email from when I bought it, but yeah, it's very, very nice and simple. So thanks very much for the recommendation. Right. I'll continue cooking and chatting to Matt. So you tend to be able to do that, say, 10, 10 times. So what, 10, 20 minutes, I'd say? On full whack, right? Won't I do videos on the You know, time test them on full wax. Yeah. I'm doing it like that. If you if were right in 20 minutes, you could say, well, I thought we were going to have 10 minutes. I thought we were going to have 15, uh, 5. And break it out, I think, right? There's a bloke in America. Paleo hiker, or whatever it is. Lumps like that. What they'll do is they'll just go into where the stitches is and just and put the like a strip in. Or sometimes, though, if, it, if it's not easy to do it like that, what they can do is they can put a strip in that's a different colour there and then put a strip on the other side so it, it all, all ties in kind of thing. Does this smell bad? Oh, it smells really nice, mate. Really nice. It's in short. Yes, that's not fine on. Oh. That I guess. <laughs> so when we went into the woods and I took that chip this this chip into the first time. Yeah. He noted the curry sauce from scratch. He's got he's like the best chicken piece in my saw I've had but really hot. <laughs> and uh, I did the Kiriani rice. And then Dane back to breakfast. And Dane did like bacon buttons, but he bought the pan that goes to the top of that stove in the evening. Yeah. So we could literally cook one piece of bacon at a time. <laughs> and we were literally slobbering while we were standing there. Going, <laughs> oh, it's frustrating, isn't it, when you do that? Monster, isn't it? You're gonna have to have a deep breath halfway through each and that. <laughs> oh, I'll get through it, pal. I 
I don't suppose you were expecting us so early. We're setting up at like three o'clock in the morning. No, I, I genuinely thought you'd probably get to mine about 12. Hmm. It didn't do bad though. No. Eight hours. Start to finish. Set off at three. Stopped at Hamilton, as I said, that. Hamilton Services. Mm. And then, uh, like straight through after Glasgow. Don't spare this. No, I might, thank you. Really what? And when did you get all, when you, you said you got that 10 for 170 quid? <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Winding back up. Green have got stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've had enough. Give me a minute. <laughs> what time is it now? 26. Is that all? Right, let's get this off. Get it chopped up. Get it. That's it. Get it scrambled on. We're just about right now. Can we get that fire going so that the fire is ready to keep going while you're at that? Oh, that's all right. Like that yeah, use your, uh, your nice little tool and I'll come and show them that in a minute. Teach me how you use it. Once the fire's done, we come back in five minutes. Down to river. <laughs> I'll just use wet wipes, I think. How does that look, people? Oh, looking forward to that. Put his lid back on there. Eh? Do it that way. Do it maybe that way. Right. We're going to sit by the fire and scrum this. Had a bit of steak that I couldn't fit in the uh, in the sandwich. Try and show you. Can you see that? You're cooked to absolute perfection. Well, I'm going to sit by the fire and tuck into this. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's quite peppery. It's giving it a little bit of a kick. Oh, obviously I've seasoned the steak up as well, but... Mm. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to do my best with this. I'll see you in a minute.
Well, what a night that has been. Eight hour drive this morning. Um, well worth it. Well worth it. Had a really good night just sort of chatting around the fire with uh, Dan, Matt and Dave. Putting the world to rights as lads do when they're out around the fire. Well worth it. Well good morning. It's a little after half past eight. I've had a really really comfortable night's sleep. At the sound of the um, Fidhorn River running all night long. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera or not, but it's just been running extremely rapidly all night long due to the heavy rain. Uh, so I'm going to start to slowly get up and then uh, back away and I'm going to show you if the river's swelled or not. Just come down to the riverside and you can see that the uh, river has come in a lot overnight and then receded again. You can tell because all of our footprints have gone. This is where I came down and filled the water up. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing left of them footprints. So you can see. Right, let's have a wash.
Well, I feel a little bit more alive now. Uh, no better feeling than getting washed in the river. <laughs> so refreshing. Whew. Right, let's go get finished packed up. And now you can see that we're all uh, slowly putting away. So I've been sort of over here somewhere. The uh, green bit you can see at the back there is Matt. Obviously Dan's in the forefront here. And then Dave's there uh, slowly putting away. No rush. Oh, right. Let's go see if anyone needs any help. Right, well, as you can see, we're all heading out of camp now. Uh, so that's me done for another video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing by pressing this in the middle. And I'll leave some videos outside for you. See you in the next one.